Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how we can uh, compute the agent values and the agent vectors of a matrix uh, by using the Octave program. So, let's just open the Octave program and just uh, give the matrix to our program. Let's just create a random matrix so that we can make this uh, uh, general. We can create, for example, this matrix, which is, uh, of course, squared. But, uh, I mean, you can see that the number of rows equals the number of uh, columns. So, uh, it's a very simple uh, command. And it goes as follows. Now, you can see that uh, the command is called its and uh, uh, you, 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 it, it, it requires the, the matrix that you want to compute its uh, its and values and its and vectors. And you can see that it produces uh, uh, two matrices as uh, results. The first matrix uh, is a matrix with, whose columns are the corresponding its and vectors of its its and value. And its its and value is placed on the on this uh, diagonal matrix and you can see that in this uh, matrix uh, each element of this uh, of whose uh, column index uh, equals its row index uh, corresponds to its respective uh, agent vector from the above matrix so this can be done for uh, uh, for every matrix, and you can uh, uh, accelerate uh, your work, or you can just uh, uh, evaluate your results when you just practice homework. Okay, you can. Everyone who is uh, practicing engineering or is just taking a simple course of uh, linear algebra is forced <laughs> or, uh, at least once to do this uh, work okay so i hope it's hope it's uh, helpful and uh, i hope to hear from you next time uh, I, I of course i i wish that you please uh, comment my video if it uh, you feel it was helpful and uh, perhaps uh, if you have any recommendation with regards the content that I'm sharing with you, please uh, just uh, add your input uh, at the comment section below. Thank you. Bye-bye.